Napoleon wasn't only a man of war, he was also a man of letters. The public is now invited to discover this more unusual aspect of the French emperor through an exhibition in the Invalide Museum in Paris. L'Aigle et la Plume, literally the Eagle and the Quill Pen exhibition, presents 500 documents written or dictated by Napoleon. This was previously the private collection of an American enthusiast. This collection is a work of a lifetime, 40 years of passionate research. This American collector has put in so much time finding, buying and reuniting these letters. In fact, Napoleon rarely wrote his letters himself. His handwriting was so bad, he had a hard time reading what he wrote. He took the habit of dictating his letters to an army of secretaries. The fact that 500 of those documents have been reunited in one place is simply exceptional. Napoleon would keep meticulous paper records of his orders, both political and military. In fact, written documents were central to his governance and grip on power. He created a communication and high-speed mail delivery service, very fast for that time. The many innovations he helped implement in this area have played a great role in some of his military victories. The exhibition also presents very rare items, such as this diplomatic briefcase. Correspondence with the Black Cabinet, the ancestor of the French intelligence service, would transit through this briefcase. Highly confidential documents destined to Napoleon. Writing is the pillar of his military and administrative work, that's for the perfectionist side. But the manuscripts also reveal the man's more sensitive dimension. There's that other man, beyond the financial aspect, beyond the diplomat, there's the father, and of course the man in love. The bashful lover of Josephine, the love of his life, in his letters he expresses his feelings from the gut, with a lot of emotion. Impetuous and fiery, but also lucid and considerate. The exhibition depicts Napoleon not as a legend, but as a complex individual who left his mark in the history of Europe.